Hey everyone, it's Heather Faber. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So, it's Hot Girl Summer 2019 and I really wanted to just make a video um, doing a tutorial on a very glowy, natural, bronzy look for the summer and just be hot, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm really excited. Mm, itchy. Also, really quick before this video starts, this isn't a sponsor. If you want to skip, go ahead. But but today I'm wearing my Bellamy Bugatti extensions. This is in the color chestnut brown, and these are my 22 inch hair. Oh, ow! I just hurt my knee. If you want to get your very own Bellamy hair extensions, you can use my code Heather for ten dollars off your purchase. This again isn't sponsored. I just genuinely love and use this and. Um, if you guys want to buy anything and get some money off, go ahead and use it. If you guys want to see how to get this beautiful, bronzy, glowy look, then just continue watching. Yeah, so I'm taking my Tatcha water cream. This stuff is seriously amazing. Now I'm just going to like blend this everywhere, but this is seriously one of my favorite moisturizers. Because of the fact it doesn't feel heavy, like I hate heavy moisturizers. I think it's so just like gross this feels like once it kind of just like dissolves into your skin it feels like you just sprayed your face with water and it feels so hydrated and refreshing it's insane so i love her so now i'm taking a primer and i'm taking my ysl bougie ass primer because um it has little sparkles in it i'm going for like a very glowy look so this primer is perfect for that so now we're gonna go in with foundation and this is honestly one of my favorites i know i'm using a lot of bougie products in this so um i'm taking my dior backstage foundation but because it's summer we don't want to feel like you know we have all of this nasty stuff on our face this foundation will not make you feel disgusting whatsoever i usually just like to dot it all around my face so then it's easier to like blend in because sometimes i have problems blending in my foundation don't forget to blend that neck honey this foundation is literally my favorite every time i put it on i'm like oh my god i feel like a flawless little queen i love it now that the foundation is on and set and we're like looking good um we're gonna go in with some concealer i'm taking my nars radiant creamy concealer this is my favorite because it's literally cement on your face um it's going to make you look good it's going to make you look awake and it's going to stay on all day so i'm taking this in the areas that i want to highlight because i am going to be contouring are we shocked no um because it is summer we want a golden glowy look on our face very glam but very natural which is obviously my vibes i'm creating a more triangle effect on my face because it's going to bring all the attention to the center of your face um and it just looks really good and it brightens up everything like in the center so we're just gonna keep going because the concealer consistency is very thick i'm taking a beauty blender to kind of like sheer it out and blend it and i just find that all these products just blend so well together and it just melts so well together i don't know how to explain it i don't know if you guys can completely tell just how flawless and seamless like my skin just like looks i don't know if the camera can completely pick it up but in person it just oh my god the concealer is completely set i am going to be taking my favorite mark jacobs omega bronzer which is this huge big bronzer you know we like them bigger. I'm going to be taking this and contouring my face. I'm just taking a Sonia Kashuk like um, contouring brush. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. And I'm just going to begin to contour. I like to motion upwards, by the way. Um, so then it kind of just gives a full tan effect. I know the line looks very harsh in the camera. I'm gonna blend everything out, I promise. This is just the beginning stages of the contouring. And yeah, I know it looks a little weird. I'm gonna get comments on that. People are gonna be like, what are you doing? Now I'm gonna contour my nose. I want it to look slimmer, obviously. And I usually just take this Real Techniques brush. I don't know what it is or what number. It's just like a random one. And I'm just gonna begin to slim out my nose. I basically draw a line on each side of my nose and connect it towards the bottom and just slim it out, give it more definition. Contouring a nose is not easy, honestly. It is honestly one of the hardest things ever um, to perfect it and make sure there's no line. And I know I have like my good days, my off days and like 
all of that i also like to go in and like connect it up here to kind of like create more of a swoop um it just helps once i'm done contouring my nose and my cheekbones i'm gonna go in with my favorite laura mercier translucent powder i know everyone loves this stuff but like if you haven't tried it you're missing out because this is seriously the best setting powder i have ever used i have like super oily skin around my t-zone and i always set it with this anytime i set with this it looks so good it doesn't look cakey it looks super natural now because i do have more oily skin i do put like tons of powder on to like set it because you know sometimes i look greasy and i don't want to look greasy got makeup all over my chair so Ooh. so i know i look really dumb right now <laughs> Um, but I'm going to just let this set for like five minutes or so so then it's really in there and my skin won't get oily super fast So I'm gonna wait about five minutes. I decided while I'm waiting I'm just gonna do my eyebrows for you guys and show you what I do. This is how to make your eyebrows look very bushy um, I'm gonna show you my little trick. So evidently, I mean my eyebrows are pretty thick like they are a great size evidently like they have a lot of fur um, I like bushier eyebrows. This is just like my thing stuff does not like sweat off your face It stays on it like sticks on your face. It's insane Take some on my brush and like take some excess off the tissue In the brush and I'm going underneath And then I'm gonna go kind of above the tail. I'm just gonna really focus on the tail at first And then start brushing up in the front part brush the line into your brows that you just drew so then it blends in brush it up it's gonna just like create this illusion that your hair is just super full there's a lot of color you don't need to keep constantly like going over it with pomade because i know i used to make that mistake a lot i look at my old pictures and oh my god i'm like girl To make sure they stay up all day, I am taking my Anastasia, it's like a clear brow gel. This is my favorite brow gel I have ever used. It's insane. I'm just gonna brush it up. Now that I've spent like 10 hours on my eyebrows, I'm finally gonna take the excess powder off. I didn't forget about it, okay? I'm not gonna look like a clown out here. Not anymore, honey. So I'm just... I don't know if you can hear that plain, but like she was zooming. Um, so I'm gonna take this brush and just take it off. Take off all that excess powder, girl. And then I'm going in with this big brush again and I'm taking some more of the Omega bronzer and just going over the bronzer one more time so then it's not like a strict line on top. face is pretty much finished i'm going to go in with my modern renaissance palette and i'm not doing anything crazy with my eyes this is going to be very subtle like a dusty eye look and i'm not using primer as well on purpose because i don't want the color to be too like intense since it is summer we don't want, like i mean you could do a full glam do you boo but like for me i'm too lazy and i want to make it look like i put some effort in so i'm taking warm taupe which is this like brown it's a taupe. We know what taupe is. I'm taking a crease brush and I'm taking warm taupe and I'm just gonna put this in my eyelid and just create like a very dusty effect. Uh, primer would make this color stand out 10 times more, which is amazing, obviously. But because I want to go for a more summery, natural, dusty, how many times can I say dusty um, look, I'm not gonna use primer. It was intense. I don't know why I did that. You can get your anger out by like tapping your brush. Be like. So here's basically the eyes. Add a ton of glow to this look, which is the main focus is like the face. Like it's not the eyes. It's not really anything. It's just the glow. Now, of course, I'm going to be adding blush and I'm taking a uh, Tarte's Party Blush. Um, this is seriously one of my favorites. It's super like, it's just a really pretty pale pink. I'm gonna go back to my eyes. I couldn't decide whether or not I wanted to do natural lashes or fake lashes. So I'm just gonna try natural, see how they look um, once I'm done. But obviously I'm curling them and then I'm using my Voluminous Lash Paradise. This one's insanely good.
So now, of course, I'm going to get into the glow part, which, of course, I'm using this. I've only used this. I'm pretty positive in, like, all my makeup tutorials. This is my favorite highlight. I've tried so many, and this is the one that I use the most. I'm taking Summer and Moonstone, these two right here, mixing them, and just going to go crazy on my face. So we're just going to take Moonstone and Summer and just apply this where I want it to be highlighted. Of course, I am going to do my lips, so the first thing I am going to do is moisturize them. I probably should have done this in the beginning, but I am taking my favorite, GlossierBomb.com. I do have a coupon code if you want to use it. Again, don't have to, but if you do want to save some money, you can shop through my link. These are my, like, OGs, my favorites, so if I had to recommend anything off their website, it would be this right here. Next thing I am taking is my lip liner in Soar by MAC. This is one of my favorites. MAC is still to me like an OG, so. And then the next thing I'm taking is my favorite Dior lipstick and this is in 263 the name is hussard i think that's how you say it and i'm just going to be putting this in like the middle of my lips now i love gloss you don't have to do the step but i love it so i am taking this chanel bright pink lip gloss in 804 and i'm just going to put this all over my lips So yeah, that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little fun tutorial for this summer. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to join this dope family. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Love you guys so, so much. Bye guys.